my major themes when I speak, no matter what the topic is, is letting go. And what do you need to let go of? Who do you need to let go of? What old thought pattern, what skill set do you need to let go of? Let me talk about why it's important to let it go. Uh, the monkeys that you'll see here on the screen, these little folks um, are very rare and they're very hard to catch. So they take very small bamboo cages and they put bananas on the inside of those cages. The monkeys come out of the cages, out of the jungle hiding, and they look at these cages and they grab that banana and they try to pull that banana out. And they're looking around and pulling and looking and then another one comes up and grabs it and tries to pull it out. And these little monkeys are, are like, oh, oh, oh. but they don't give up. And then they eventually take a nap, right? Hanging on to the banana. <laughs> and then they hear something and it's the trappers coming to get them. And they look at the trappers, they look at the banana and they, oh, oh, oh. they try, try to pull it out and pull it out. And the Mac trappers walk right up to them, do, 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 grab the monkey, monkey screams as it gets caught. What would you tell the monkey to do to be free? Let it go! Let it go. <laughs> Most of the time, people are telling you, do this, do that. I'm going to be trying to tell you, let go of this, let go of that. It's not important. It doesn't matter. You're fine. You're enough, just as you are. I saw this ranch out by our house, and it had a ramp with a wheelchair on the top of it. And behind the wheelchair, there's a sign that said, Gone Riding. That's interesting. And what it ended up being is a therapeutic horseback riding center. Now, I love horses. I always have loved horses as a kid. And I thought, well, how, what, what's that about? I found a place that I knew what my purpose was about, why I learned to become a nurse, why I have always loved horses, why I love the outdoors. And it's where my whole life came together. This is my friend Jacob. Jacob was born, weighed less than a pound, was not as expected to walk, was not expected to talk, let alone sing all the words to all the Disney songs. Jacob came as part of his therapy we put him on a horse. The rider responds to the move movement of the horse. And there's Jacob. He's not only riding a horse, he's standing up on a walking horse. It, it, affects, it affects the body and the soul. It's amazing. It, I go back after, after an afternoon teaching therapeutic horseback riding. I go back to home and I'm telling my husband, we had a little boy that had his first words today. He said his first word. He's autistic. And he said his first word on the back of a horse. It was yellow. His mother said he had never said another word. And in, in the course of a year, he went from going, nah, when the, she took him trick-or-treating, she goes, say, take trick-or-treat. He, he went from nah the first year to second year, he'd say, trick-or-treat. And the third year, after riding, he said, trick or treat, I like Snickers bars, they're the best, do you have any? <laughs> she can't shut him up now, it's so amazing. So I got Maggie because I wanted to see if I could train a therapist from the ground up. So it's gonna take us about five years before she gets all the skills she needs to be a good therapy horse. In the meantime, she's fun to be around. I'm learning a lot about the creatures. I'm learning a lot more about, the, about how the body moves because the horse's hip moves, moves exactly like the human hip. It's front, back, side, side, and rolling. So when we put a client on the back of a horse, their move, hips will move exactly like the horse's hips move. Because if I'm going to put a client on top of this horse, if 
for a therapy lesson, she has to be able to know that she's always to be in this position next to me. She's to do the exact gait I ask for. She's to stop when I say stop, no matter what's going on. And she's always looking around for a new owner. <laughs> what you get from me is a person who lives in the real world that ha who happens to speak about it. Uh, I'm not just a speaker who gets on planes and speaks to organizations. I'm a working nurse. I'm a person who runs their own business and volunteers. I've got a family. I've got friends. I've got adopted family that I look out after. And I have to learn how to balance everything just like the rest of you. And so I try to bring what I've learned about balancing my own life into your life.